Welcome to another GCSE P related video with Mr. Matthews. In today's video, we'll be looking closely at the muscles of the body. And as always, before we begin, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, that way you can keep up to date with the latest videos. The aims of today's video are for you to be able to recall each of the 30 muscles that you are required to know by AQA, as well as how to spell each of these and where they are located. Alongside this, I will show you some examples of how these muscles are utilized during exercise and sport. Let's start with the deltoid. The deltoid is found in the shoulder and this is often involved in overhead pressing exercises. For example, this muscle will be utilized during a shoulder press. The deltoid is also utilized during a shot put throw as the performer powerfully exerts force to propel the shot put as far as they can. Muscle two, the rotator cuff, which is located to the rear of the shoulder and it has four parts and each of these parts collectively help stabilize the shoulder joint. The rotator cuffs are utilized during rotations of the shoulder. The rotator cuffs also play an integral role during a number of swimming strokes, including the butterfly. Moving on to our next muscle, we have the latissimus dorsi. Large muscles found in the back that are often involved in pulling movements. So these muscles are targeted during a pull-up. And these muscles are also utilized during rowing as a performer pulls the oars towards them. And the next muscles are the pectorals, which are located in the chest, and they are responsible for forward pushing movements. These are utilized during a chest pressing action. A sporting example of this could be the follow through of a chest pass in netball. The next muscle is the bicep, which is located in the front of the upper arm. A way to remember this is to think bicep has two parts. And if you were to relate this to a bicycle, knowing that a bicycle has two wheels. The bicep is utilized during the upwards phase of a bicep curl. A sporting example of this can be seen as a performer draws a bow in archery. And the next muscle I'd like to talk about is the tricep. The tricep can be found in the upper arm located at the rear, and this has three parts. A way to remember this is to think tricycle. Tricycles have three wheels, so as I've mentioned, the tricep has three parts. These muscles are utilized during a tricep extension as the arms straighten. A sporting example of this can be seen in basketball as a performer completes an overhead pass. And let's move on to the abdominals, which are situated in the torso. These muscles are targeted during a crunch. These muscles play a pivotal role during a gymnastics routine where the gymnast performs and holds a range of positions. 
And then we have the hip flexors, which can be seen at the front of the hip, and these are utilized during knee drives. A sporting example of where these muscles are utilized is during the clearance of a hurdle. And as we continue to make our way down the body, we have the gluteals located in the buttocks. And these muscles can be targeted during a glute bridge. A sporting situation in which these muscles are utilized are when a group of rugby players powerfully drive their legs forwards in order to move the opposing team backwards during a scrum. And moving on to our next muscle, we have the hamstring. This can be targeted during a leg curl. This muscle is utilized during the preparation stage of striking a football. Our next muscle is the quadricep, which is located in the front of the upper leg. This has four heads, and a good way to remember this muscle is to think quad bike. Quad bikes have four wheels. Like the quadricep, it has four heads. This muscle can be targeted during a lunge. This muscle is utilized during cycling where the cyclist powerfully exerts force on the pedal to drive the bike forwards. And moving on to the lower leg, we have the gastrocnemius, which is situated at the back. This muscle can be targeted during a calf raise. This type of action can often be seen in ballet and dance when a performer is up on their tiptoes. And finally, the 13th muscle that you need to know is the tibialis anterior, which is located at the front of the lower leg. And this muscle is targeted when a performer dorsiflexes, and this refers to the toes moving upwards towards the knee. And this muscle is targeted as a rock climber climbs a wall. So as they lift their legs in aim of placing their foot on a ridge, dorsiflexion can be seen. And this is a result of the tibialis anterior contracting. Now to challenge you, what I would like you to do is, can you recall each of the 13 muscles? Can you spell them correctly and can you share them in the comment section below? Good luck, thank you for watching and if you found today's video helpful please do not forget to click the thumbs up. Take care and see you soon.